Rachel put up. Good morning, Efro. My name is Wyatt. And I am that substitute, Mr. Christopher Helock. Today's Friday, November 22nd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. You will later stand. Coming soon, Rachel's Closet. Friends of Rachel is collecting gently used and new clothing. We are looking for sizes to fit teens through adults. Please bring your donations to room 121 between now and December 3rd. Thanks for being part of the chain reaction. And now over to Olivia with the thought of the day. Hi, Ephrata. My name is Olivia Schlinkman, and I have the thought of the day. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, you must do the things you think you cannot do. What is meant by this quote is you have to constantly push yourself to reach new heights and learn new things, even if it seems impossible. If you don't strive for the impossible, you will never grow or learn. Through trial and error, you can learn from your mistakes and become a better person. In conclusion, this quote encourages you to be your best, and hopefully you will take this idea with you throughout your day. Bye, Ephrata. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> oh, attention, you <laughs> savages. Sorry about that. Do you want a library fine? Again, you savages, the library will be running a Food for Fines event. Yes, indeed, for you savages. What does this mean? You can bring in canned food products to pay off the fines you owe for overdue materials. The Food for Fines event will run till November 26th. Each can is worth up to 50 cents, well, uh, worth 50 cents, up to eight cans worth $4 total. Canned items can be brought to the front desk of the library between those dates. All canned items will be given to Ephrata Area Social Services. Now over to Peter with the news. It's, it's time for the news. In today's news, Katie Visco, the woman famous for running across the U.S. nearly 10 years ago, wow. has completed her journey across Australia. She ran 2,200 miles and almost 28 to 38 miles a day. According to Katie, running across Australia was shorter in length. However, it was just as grueling, or more so, given Australia's desolation and scorching heat. On this day in history in 1963, a very sad day in American history occurs as President John F. Kennedy was assassinated during a parade in Dallas. No. Lee Rest Harvey Oswald, the killer, was supposedly motivated for political reasons given his radical political views and hatred for America. Rest in peace. Now over to Junior's with lunch. Okay, today's lunch is Mountaineer Cheeseburger. Teriyaki chicken with egg roll and rice. Buffalo chicken flatbread. BBJ Uncrustable. Chicken Caesar salad. Fresh cauliflower. <laughs> Fresh roasted baby carrots. Applesauce. Fresh fruit. Sashi. Now, since we don't have any sports news, we'll be talking about someone very, very special in all of our hearts today. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Helock is back on Effort AM after five long and miserable years, all right? Let's go! Woo! Yeah! yeah! Yesterday, though, he had an amazing game in Call of Duty with a KD of 20 to 0. Make sure you give him a big hug, big hug in the hallway to congratulate him. Now back to the main desk. He's a hugger.
not quite, but thank you guys. Uh, attention all EHS students, this is a reminder that bidding for pick on a teacher ends today. Starting bids are at least $4 and will rise in increments of $1. Please be sure to find a mini-thon member at the front of the cafeteria during your lunch to place in for your kids. Uh, don't delay. This money goes to the four diamonds. Sorry. To help in treating pediatric cancer and is a great way to have fun with our amazing Effort of High School teachers. Oh, this is the top of this man's head. It's beautiful. Huh? Ski and snowboard signups are happening right now. See Miss Brem Hall in room 226. Hold your place with a $50 deposit. We ski and board at Bear Creek five times starting in January. Signups for the club close on December 6th. Hurry up to save your spot. That's it. Woo! That's all from us, guys. Effort, have a wonderful day. Woo! That's all of it. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh.